Hello everybody and welcome back to another Q&A video for Stinky Sasquatch. And as you guys know, I decided to create this brand new series here just to try to help a lot of you guys out. Uh, although I've been making a lot of Stinky Sasquatch videos, I still keep on getting a lot of questions about Stinky Sasquatch on how to do this and that. So I decided to make this brand new series here where I'm going to try to answer a lot of your questions. So that being said, let's start off with the first question. Uh, and this one is, how to get the scuba diving suit? Now, I've been getting this question a lot ever since the update has been released. And getting the scuba diving suit is actually not that difficult. All you gotta do is just go to the island, simply fast travel there, or use the ferry in order to traverse to that site. And there is gonna be a brand new building below the information desk. And this one is called Scuba Diving Gear Office. Uh, going inside that one, you're gonna be able to talk with the clerk, and uh, he's gonna allow you to purchase the scuba diving suit. Uh, the scuba diving suit is gonna cost 5,000 coins, so uh, make sure you have enough money for that. Also, as a bonus, if you do want to upgrade your scuba diving suit, uh, you will first of all gonna have to go inside the water, collect a lot of recyclable trash, and get it back to the dude that sold the scuba diving suit for you. He's now gonna allow you to use all that trash you collected to upgrade your suit. And once you get your suit upgraded, you're gonna be able to actually swim faster and uh, stay longer on the water. Now, once you're gonna be done with purchasing and upgrading your suit, you're also gonna be able to purchase a scuba diving gear for your puppy for 10,000 coins. It is gonna be a little bit more expensive, but uh, trust me, it's worth it. It's really funny to see the puppy with you underwater and also being able to play fetch ball with him underwater but uh yeah there you have it now if you don't have a puppy and you want the scuba diving suit as well this is where the question number two is gonna come in handy uh, because i've been asked how to get the puppy and i've been asked this one a lot ever since the update for the puppy has been released and getting the puppy is not that difficult all you gotta do is just go to the shopping strip and uh, you will see a building called pet shop this one's gonna be in between the camera store and the furniture store uh, in front of the store there is gonna be an old man though that you are gonna see that he's gonna have an exclamation mark above his head meaning he's gonna have a mission for you now in order to get the puppy from him uh, first of all you are gonna have to find it and get him to like you and the way you're gonna do this is by simply going to this guy every single day he's gonna tell you where he last saw the puppy and you're gonna have to find that give him a little bit of food pet him a few times until he's gonna reach level one once he's gonna reach level one that's when he's gonna actually follow you back to his owner and eventually his owner will let you have him if you of course also purchase some things from the pet shop in order to uh, accommodate the puppy i guess i would just say and eventually you're gonna be able to have yourself a puppy so uh enjoy the new friends all right question number three is coming from melissa long and she's asking how to get the go-kart now getting the go-kart is not gonna be done by simply purchasing it at a shop at the cars dealer uh, in order to get the go-kart you do have to go in town at the arcade uh, you are gonna have to earn about 250 tickets at the arcade and then spend those tickets to redeem the go-kart uh, getting 250 arcade ticket it's not gonna be as easy you are gonna have to play the arcades quite a bit until you're gonna be able to get yourself the go-kart but i've already created a few videos on how to play these arcades so i'll go ahead and check them out video is gonna pop out on the screen right now at the top or it's gonna be down below in the description enjoy question number four how to get the monster truck in order to get the monster truck, uh, you actually are not going to be able to just go ahead and purchase yourself a monster truck. You can actually transform every single one of your vehicles into a monster truck by simply adding the special customizations to it. Now, in order to do that, there's going to be a new custom shop at the racetrack next to the one where you use to upgrade your vehicles. Uh, just drive your car in there and uh, put any upgrades you want like tires, rims, and the special ones that I was telling you about that's going to be the suspensions, which is going to make your car into a monster truck, or adding or removing uh, the hood off of your vehicle now as an extra option if you guys do not want to get yourself a monster truck you can actually go ahead and uh, rent out the big rig at the dirt races and renting out the big rig is gonna cost you 125 coins a uh, daily but the great thing about this one is that if you don't want to own a monster truck but you do want to do the monster truck madness races and get yourself a lot of money by following the video that i showed you guys a while back then you can simply rent it out use that vehicle that you rented out in order to earn about 3,000 coins daily and then rinse and repeat it's that easy yes you are spending 125 coins daily in order to rent it out but at the end of the day you are making 3,000 coins so uh, it's definitely worth it all right and for the final question question number five it's coming from sam v and he's asking 
how to catch the sturgeon. Now, as you guys know, the sturgeon has been in the game ever since the game has been released, and uh, catching the sturgeon is not really as easy as you think. Although, he does say that he's got the last fishing rod that he got from the fisherman, the pro one. He's still having a lot of difficulties catching him. He said that he keeps on tapping and trying to catch this fish, but it just doesn't work for him. And I absolutely understand your pain, buddy, because it also happened to me a lot before I figured out how to do it. Now, the way I'm actually catching the sturgeon is by simply trying to lure him in as close as possible to the shore. And once he's gonna be as close as possible to the shore, then I'm gonna actually allow him to bite my bait, and then I'm gonna try to catch him. This is the best way you can do it, and you can see in the video right now how fast I actually catch him once he's so close. I think I've also caught him about by simply tapping once or twice when he was so close to the shore. It's just the best way to do it. Now, let's say the sturgeon is going to be like in the middle of the lake here. Just simply throw your bait towards him. Do not allow him to bite him though. Just keep on dragging it a little bit closer to you, making sure that the sturgeon is going to keep on coming closer and closer. And then, once it's going to be close enough, then allow him to bite it and drag him in. Alright guys, there you have it. These have been another 5 questions that I decided to answer to you guys. And I will keep on coming with more of course. But if you do enjoy this, and if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit on the like button down below. Let me know down in the comments below if you have more questions about Sneaky Sasquatch and I will see y'all in the next one coming up really soon. Bye!